How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gianluca and I'm a medical student currently studying in Canada. Now recently we had some really big news regarding medical school and medical school admissions here in Ontario that could probably change medical school admissions forever moving forward. And I had a lot of you guys message me and ask me for my opinion on it. So today we are going to talk about the very real possibility of Ryerson University getting a brand new medical school and Canada getting finally its 18th medical school. Now first things first, I do want to ask for everyone's opinion on this news. I get a ton of questions on Instagram, but it's always easier for me to answer everyone in the comment section on YouTube. What do you think about the news? Are you excited about it? Do you just think it's a bunch of rumors and nothing's going to come out of it at all? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. So, I mean, we could start off with the official news release from Ryerson's website. It says Ryerson University receives a planning grant for medical school in Brampton. The government of Ontario has announced a planning grant that will support Ryerson in developing a proposal for a medical school in Brampton. And the article then goes on to say that they are embarking in a new chapter that will help shape the future of healthcare in Ontario. They also go on to outline some of the different philosophies that they want their school to include, and also some of the different areas that they want to address within the community. Now to hear that we're getting not only a brand new medical school here in Canada, but a new medical school here in Ontario is really, really big news, but this isn't the first time that we've seen something like this. And most recently we actually had the addition of the Northern Ontario School of Medicine, which started up with its very first class back in 2009, so about 10, 11 years ago. And that's actually going to address one of the criticisms that I've heard from a few students now that seem to think that nothing is going to come out of this news just because they're a little bit unsure how a brand new medical school could just spring up out of nowhere. One of the things to think about when it comes to whether or not we should actually be getting new medical schools here in Canada, if there's the need, if it's even possible, is to just look at a comparison just south of the border in the United States where a very quick Wikipedia search will show you that there are approximately 192 different medical schools, that is the MD programs and the DO programs programs together in comparison to Canada's 17 medical schools. So big difference. Now, it's also true that there is a much larger population living down in the United States. It's about 328 million people, which works out to approximately 1.7 million people per single medical school that exists down in the States. Now, if you do the math, what that means is that in order to maintain a similar ratio as what we're seeing down in the States, you need 22 different medical schools here in Canada, which is actually five more than we currently have. Now, there are many other factors to consider when you're thinking about whether or not you need a new medical school. Things like number of new residency spots that could be made available because as of right now there are still students that get out of medical school and then don't match into a residency spot. You also need to consider things like funding and how the new medical school will fit in terms of integration into the existing application process. But we've seen that the process is far from impossible, not just in terms of medical schools, but even if we just go back to 2016 when Ryerson first announced that they would be applying for a law school and then fast forwarding four years we just saw the very first Ryerson and law class begin their education in September of 2020. So now what does this mean for timelines and you the applicants that might be applying at some point in the future? I mean, if we just look at the actual news release itself, they're not saying that the medical school is going to be opening next year. And I think that personally, they're still a little bit far off in terms of starting a brand new class. If I had to give an approximate timeline, I could see that a potential new class could actually begin between two and four years from now. But this is, to be honest, just my most educated guess based off of previous deadlines with their law school. And then also how the news release just says that they are in the current process of planning. They received a planning grant and no definite timelines in terms of a class actually starting up. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be the entire video. That is everything that we know or everything that I know right now about the current situation of Canada getting a new medical school. If you guys know anything else that I missed, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. But I mean, just to give some final closing thoughts, I would like to see Canada get not just one new medical school, but a few more. I think there are many places in Canada that still need more medical schools. When I look all the way up north at Northwest Territories, the Yukon, places like that where there are no medical schools at all, then even just going over to the East Coast where there are one or two schools to supply that entire region, I think that even two or three more medical schools could go a long way, in my opinion, uh, towards helping to get some doctors and some trained medical professionals to areas where we might need them a little bit more right now. And uh, as far as Ryerson specifically getting a medical school, I mean, you know, I've mentioned it many times on the channel here. I'm a big fan of Ryzen. I did my undergrad there. I thought it was an amazing school. And it was funny because uh, this is gonna be my final closing thought. Back when I was at Ryerson, and you would have all these students from all, you know, all these other schools telling you that, you know, you're never going to get into medical school because you go to Ryerson. Uh, it'll be really funny now to see some of those same students applying to, to Ryerson Medical School. So uh, 
take that as you will. I'm really excited about medical school. I think Ryerson was a great school. We'll see you guys all in the next one. Everyone take care.